her words are... Help me. Help me. Help me. Well, that's pretty explicit. <laughs> we went from, hey kids, tell me your credit card number to please help. And welcome to GT Not Live, where today I'm confused. <laughs> you were thinking so hard at the beginning. I'm confused, Ash. Why are you I, confused? I, I am thinking very hard. Because what I see before me yes. on the screen mm -hmm. is Gooby, Gooby educational videos. Correct. Gooby, explore with Gooby and learn about exciting things like numbers, the alphabet, shapes, sounds, and so much more. Gooby teaches everyone how to have fun and do your best. What are shapes? How many numbers are there? What is your home address? Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> what is your home address? These questions and more will be answered with the help of your pal Gooby. Gooby is not made for kids. Gooby is not made for kids. Gooby is not made for kids. They're very vehement about making sure that you know that Gooby is not made for kids. Gooby is not made for kids. Yeah, do you think Gooby's made for kids? I, you know, there's something telling me that it might not be. Is it the description of the channel? Mm. You know, I hadn't looked there, but... Yeah, right? I feel like that might be it. So, okay, Ash, what, what is Gooby? How did we come about this? Where did this come from? Please, please educate me. Yeah, so it's time for me to educate you in the way that Gooby educates us. Yes, the masses. Every day. So, but not kids. Not kids. De definitely does not educate kids. Not kids. Certainly not. Not kids. No, certainly not. So, Gooby, this has been something that's been recommended on the Game Theorist subreddit yep. for a little bit. Um, so I decided to go in and check it out, and I was subscribed. I was I was surprised um, because it seems like these videos haven't gotten a whole lot of views yet, but I find them to be really well made and interesting. So I think you're gonna have a really fun time diving into this. Did you did you learn about colors, shapes, and numbers? Yes, I actually did learn about shapes. Oh, I'm so oh I'm so excited for you. Thank you. What what, what did you learn about shapes? Um, so there is triangle. Uh huh. There is wow. What? There is Since square. When? Okay. Yeah, square. There is circle yeah so this is an advanced one and this there this is you can't see me but if you can mimic what i'm doing rhombus rhombus <laughs> yeah you this? know because like if it's if, take, you, if you take the square and tilt it a little bit yeah yeah it's like a, it's like you take the square and then you, ooh, just a little bit exactly yep yeah. yeah. there nice is that what you learned shapes <laughs> nice good for you i'm so proud of you wow well done ash <laughs> that, that's the sort of education that you can expect both here on the channel as well as in Gooby. Um, so yeah, uh, this is one that apparently a lot of you have requested and that is been kicking around. Uh, I have not seen this. I don't really know anything about it, but looking at the channel and seeing that it's asking for my home address, I get the sense of where this might be headed. So I, I don't see any other reason to not just hop in here, friends. Gooby educational videos, like I said, know nothing. I am I am excited to see what they have in store for us. So let's uh, start with the earliest upload here. All of them are pretty short, which is nice. But you know how we roll here. We can make an hour of content out of like 30 seconds. So this could be six episodes worth, to be honest. Learn to count with Gooby. Learning numbers one to 10. So let's, let's see what we can do there. Learn with Gooby, numbers to one to 10. Gooby teaches numbers one to 10 in this video. Learn numbers one to 10 with Gooby. Gooby makes educational videos like this. Learn numbers video, great. Gooby explores numbers. Wow, do you think they're really teaching us numbers? This Gooby episode is a great way for you to learn things like learning numbers, observing colors, learn to count to 10, and even more. Okay, great. Well, I'm glad that I read all of that. Gooby! Hey, kids! My name's Gooby, and today so we're going to learn about numbers. This, this is, is number terrifying one. already. Then this is number two. It comes after one. This is basically an educational video if it was made by, like, the Rick and Morty team. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I'm getting a real strong, like, this is Mr. Poopy Butthole teaching me how to count numbers right now. <laughs> it's horrific. And this one, this is number three. Nice. This one right here, this is number four. This is number five. Yep. This is number six. I'm, I'm, I, I know a lot of these. I, I recognize a lot of these numbers, Ash. I, yeah. I, a lot of these are ringing bells in my head. Good job, Matthew. I'm, thank you. I'm really proud. There is a moment where he has three arms. 
I don't know if that's just the glitching artifact of like the old timey style of of the the CRT TV that they're they're playing through here, or if that's lore at all. I'm just calling it out. I noticed for a second there that they had three arms. This is number seven. Oh, and five. And this is number eight. This is number nine. Yep. And finally, we have number ten. Yeah. If if you can't if you can't follow that, but like he couldn't have explained that any better. Right. That was so well explained. <laughs> So well explained. Mm, artwork. If, I, if, if any kid, show this to any kid that you know. If that kid does not know the numbers 1 to 10 after this, then that kid is stupid. I mean, it's not made for the kid. But no. But if you wanted to show it to them, I don't see the hurt in that. I guarantee that kid will not forget that number lesson. Uh, absolutely Certainly not. Certainly not. That kid will be like, hey, what was that weird? They'll have like, they'll have that like inbuilt, inbuilt childhood nightmare that they forget over time. But at some point when they come across Scooby, they'll be like, no, it was that thing. It was real. <laughs> I love numbers. That's and great. You? Me too. I do. I love oh, numbers. that's good. Do you want to see my favorite number? Sure. It's on one of these. Have you ever seen one of these? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Are you going to ask me to leave it down in the comments below? It calls me. Credit card. Oh, it is. Bring it over here. Bring it over here. Can you read those numbers on the front to me? <laughs> yes. Can you read the numbers below that for me? <laughs> Can you read the numbers below? And now, turn it over. Can you read those three numbers to me? That's, that's known as a security code. <laughs> this is, you know, I see nothing wrong with this. This is just teaching kids the important numbers that they need in order to make purchases in the digital landscape. I think that's totally fine. There is nothing abnormal. Good for you, Gooby. Way to deliver education that isn't just the standard stuff that kids have been taught for years. Way to teach them the things that are going to be relevant in their lives here in the year 2024. That's the way I see it. Real. You're going to make an Amazon purchase? You need to know that long list of numbers, the numbers underneath, which are the date, and that security code on the back. Good for you. Good for you. And it's not like he's asking them to put them down in the comments. No. It's just between him and Gooby. Right. Just between the little 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 chillins and Gooby. Also, there was a moment where I thought I could read their numbers. I'm curious what their credit card numbers are. I love numbers. Do you? Oh, I don't know if it matters. But I would assume that they're not just dropping in random number? numbers onto the credit card. It's on one of these. Have you ever seen one of these? It Look at that big old me. smile. Gooby's so happy. Bring it over here. Bring it over. Wait, there was a moment. Was that the one? There was one moment where I'm like, oh, I can almost make out what these are. Again, it might not matter, but if this were me, oh yeah, there you go. One, two, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Fine. In your name. Fine. 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 I tried. Can't say I didn't try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Great. Well then. <laughs> Well, if it were me, those numbers would be important. Yes. Can you read the numbers below that for me? Yeah. No kid's gonna forget this counting lesson. Turn it over. Can you read those three numbers to me? Yeah. It's six one two. Oh wait, what? was that Morse code? Hold up. There. Ha ha. Think so? Definitely seems like it. it's a lot of dashes, but certainly seems like Morse code to me. I would agree. Right. I think we got ourselves a little bit of a, of a little mystery afoot here, friends. I'm going to print to the screen just in case we need to translate. Wow, you did such an awesome job. I'll see you next time. Bye. He's so stretchy. Bye. Bye. Great. Interesting. Uh, that's not, that doesn't seem to be an audio code just because you didn't hear the pitches change all that much. Um, did anyone translate this? Gives off don't hug me, I'm scared vibes. <laughs> yeah. My kids are going to watch this. Thank you for teaching me. Did anyone see the Morse code? So many numbers to learn. I know. We, the, they've, only, they've only started with the first 10. 
it only goes up from there. I agree that this needs more views. So I'm not seeing anyone translating this into Morse code. So does that does it does it fall to us then to do? Perhaps. <laughs> ah, so we must. So we must. So what do we got here? I'm gonna pull up Photoshop. This is me pausing the frame while I pull up Photoshop. Pause. Let's see what we've got here. So we've got standalone dot. Standalone dot is e e right e. Seems that way. Right, that does seem odd. Okay, we got. E. Oh, thank you, Lorem Ipsum. <laughs> e. Then, see, it gets, it's, hmm. And immediately we get into trouble here. Let's see what we know down here. This is dash, dash, dot, would you say? Yes. Right? Dash, dash, dot. Dash, dot, G. Oh, every, you don't have to give me a sample text every time. I just want a, I just want a text box, man. Dash, 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 dot. It looks. It I think looks it's dash dot. Yeah. I think it's an N. Every time I we I need to figure out a way to turn off that as default. N G. Yeah. So you think it'd be I N G, right? Right. That seems appropriate. Oof. These ones in the middle though. Dot dot. Dot 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 dash dot 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 dash. Hmm. Right. It's it's hard to tell. And especially when there's no other, is there another frame where this potentially appears without the letters? No, the letters block it. Gooby, why would you put it over top of that? That is terrifying. Yeah, oh, shoot, it's, that's all. I mean, that's all you got. Hmm. Wonder if there's is there a way to. Image adjustments. Let's see if we do. See, it's all tied together is the problem. I mean, it looks like a series of dashes to me. Right. Or like dash, dash, dot. But this dot isn't standing alone, right? This dot has to be, it's not EE. -E. Yeah, I'm talking about what's over the A. Oh, over the A, yeah, dash, dash, something. So what, what begins with like three dot, dot, dot? V, EV, maybe. Oh, maybe. Dot, 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 dash. Dot, 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 dash. And then dash, dot. Ev, evening, evening. Dot, dot, dot. Any other three dots at the beginning? There's F, no. That's not three dots. Three dots is just S. It feels like V is probably the best bet here because you definitely have three dots and then a dash. So it does feel like this would be V. Then dash dot maybe? Dash dot would be another N. Evening. Evening. <laughs> yeah, I don't I mean we might be just not we might just not be able to do it, unfortunately. I mean another E would just be Even? Even even Evening? Well you'd need an N. What's N? Dash dot. There's and, and it seems like we're also missing stuff here. Because there's this big gap yeah. right there, you know? Shoot. So I've looked up um, words that start with EV and yeah. end in NG. Yeah. So. Evening, everything. Evading. Ooh. Um, evolving. Yeah. Evicting. Ooh, evicting. <laughs> Evil doing. Oh, that's clearly what it is. Evil, Evil doing. doing. <laughs> no, it's probably either evening, evading. Um, Eviscerating. I, that's that's a lot of letters. You know and what? Not it could a lot be. of room. That's <laughs> yeah. No, you're right. <laughs> Evaporating. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's what it is. Clearly, I, I also I, I just want to call this one out. Uh, well done. Shout out to YouTube for suggesting learn to count with Gooby. Not made for kids. Not made for kids. Not made for kids. With smile and learn English. Guess the numbers from one to a hundred. <laughs> I have a feeling that some small children are stumbling across this video and being very traumatized by it. Just saying. Here, let's maybe if we learn the alphabet, we might have more luck. Let's go. Gooby! I want hey, I want kids, kids to shout Gooby at the end. Gooby, and today we're gonna learn the ABCs. Yes, great. He's so excited. There's Get hyped. Letter A, yep. B, C, D, mm -hmm. E, okay. F, G, H, 
Great. J K L M N O P. Oh, that's what they, that's how it goes. Oh, him just listing off the stuff makes so much more sense. It is sticking in my brain so well right now. Wow. This this is learning hacks happening right now. Right. This is it. Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. I love letters. Do you? Yeah, I, I prefer numbers, honestly. Are you letters or numbers? Oh, I'm letters all the way. Uh, th not surprising. You strike me as a letter person. In which way? You strike me as like the letter... You strike me as a... Not an L. You strike me as an M. An M? Yeah, a little bit like I, an M. You know what? Thank you. You're welcome. I, that's a very comforting letter. It's a, it's a, high, it's a high compliment. I thank you. You you give strong J vibes. Ooh, really? You do. That's cool. Thank I'll you. I'll take that. Nice. I was I was I was aiming for like, you know, like a like an S, but I'll take J. Yeah. That I still got the curve in there. Right. Yeah. Nice. What letter <laughs> would you call yourself? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm curious. <laughs> what letter would you also attribute to us? Yeah, let us know. Yeah, let us know. I'm curious. Here we go. Oh, that's good. Letters can be used to spell words. Mm. Let me show you my favorite two words. Oh, no. Defenestration <laughs> and archipelago. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Gooby, I didn't know you had such elaborate words as your favorites. <laughs> Do you have a favorite word, Ash? I really like subterranean. Ooh, that's a great word. Thank you. Solid. Well done. <laughs> well said. Well, that's pretty explicit. <laughs> that's pretty explicit. We went from, hey kids, tell me your credit card number to please help. I'm slowly dying. Ooh. Oh, we're getting all sorts of frame perfect things here. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Will you? Will you see me next time, Gooby? Bye! All right, there's a lot of frame perfect stuff here, so let's go through it. This is fun. Let me show you my favorite two YouTube has opened the door to so many just like creepy nightmare fuel things that kids can discover at any point in time. Yep. I'm doing my best. Okay, what do we got? Sorry, there was, I just wanted there, that one by quick, pretty quick. I didn't see anything in particular, but yeah, okay, that was just weird. Okay, here's where we start flipping through a bunch of stuff super fast. Ah, <laughs> uh, Gooby's wireframe. Okay. Oh, all right, what do we got? Blonde, we know she's blonde. Height, something, appearance. Female, white. Weight, something appearance. Oh, disappearance? Something about disappearance. Uh, blue eyes, January 17th, 2020, 2020. Birth date, date of birth. So three-year-old, roughly, Yeah, because this was uploaded in December of last year. Michaela Atkins uh, was taken, was last seen. Michaela Atkins was last seen wearing a pink t-shirt and denim. Shorts. Shorts, right, it's not, it's not pant like denim something, 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 something of it, it, in the care of her grandmother, Carrie, Carrie boys. So we have Michaela Adams, Aaron's Atkins, pink shirt, denim, denim stilettos, Ayo. denim shorts. Uh, in the grandma, Carrie boys on the night of December 7th, 2023. Authorities believe Michaela was from the family room. Abducted from the family room while Carrie was doing something. Uh, Michaela on the something inside at the first something something. So she was let's see, in the care of their grandmother, I think. It's really hard to read. It's, it's really hard, but I'm thinking like the gist of it is like they were in the, she was in the care of her grandmother, Carrie Boys, on the night of. Mm, I'm like screaming children. Ooh. Oh. oh, that was a good frame perfect. 
picture. Oh, that's creepy. That's disturbing. As disturbing as I'll get out. Man, is it, has another kid been shoved into a digital consciousness? Oh, God, again! Man, if I had a dollar for every small child who was shoved into some digital consciousness AI algorithm, I would be a rich man. Keep your children in the physical realm. Right? Can we just stop digitizing our kids, please? Oh my gosh. I've heard of iPad kids, but this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> So there's Michaela. <laughs> Good old Michaela. I don't think this is any easier to read than the other one. Take an after grandmother or something. You might be able to make out that section a little bit better, but not super well. We could, I guess we've got Photoshop opened up, so why not? Might as well, it took me like half a decade to open up Photoshop anyway, so <laughs> might as well use it. We got it. Yippee. Uh, can we, oof, oh. no, this is not gonna, this is not gonna read. I thought maybe for a second. This is not gonna work. Just calling it like I sees it. Ah, yes. We have made it a slightly darker blob of text. We have deep fried the document. <laughs> Someone slap an E on this one. <laughs> you read it and it's just face boosted. And we've got and we've got a meme, ladies and gentlemen. Get Markiplier's face on there. Big ol' E, Lord Farquaad, throw in a Mark Zuckerberg reference. We got him, boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's Michaela Akins, Akins, missing, missing person. You're not allowed to know. Now you know your ABCs. Great. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Gooby. Oh, oh, hello. I saw you peeking in on the corner there. I don't think you're gonna. I think you're just Michaela Akins again. Gosh darn it. Yeah, there it is, okay. Confirmed! I don't think, like, again, I don't think that was a mystery audio file. Um, learning colors. This is fun. I like this. Uh, let's check down here. Could be teaches A to Z. Teaches letters if you want to learn. This episode's great for things to learn letters. Okay, so not a whole lot going on in the descriptions. 10 out of 10 educational value. Gooby really hit all the marks. Already theorizing that Gooby is Actually, the person that's missing, trapped in the program, similar to the theories in ATA. Uh, holy shit, this is... Oh, oh I said... Whoa. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> I apologize. You've been so spicy with the swear words lately. Have I been spicy with swear words lately? Yeah. Really? You've been saying... Well, well am I allowed to say it? Because I'm a little guy. You're a little guy. I'll give you permission. If you're as long, here's the thing. As long as you're quoting someone else, it's okay. I mean, here's the thing. That's my rule. Who's the princess now, bitch? Oh, that um, is true. I did shit show. Uh, holy shit! Wow. Oh, the, you're you're dropping a lot now. I wait. What did I say? Holy just now. Oh, oh, because I was reading this. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, that's not. I would. No. That's too. That's too mature for me. It's like <gasps> right? thirty minutes prior. Thirty right? seconds prior. <laughs> not even minutes. <laughs> seconds <laughs> earlier. I say things and then they immediately leave my mind. I don't know. Uh, oh, that's really funny. Yeah. Okay. No, as long as, as long as you're, you know, citing someone else, as long as you're quoting someone else, it's okay. In this space. In this space. Okay. And in, in, gen in life. In life? And in life. Okay. Uh, you know. Thank you for the life rule, Matt but, but, be, but be sparing, okay? Yeah, I will. Because it loses its effectiveness. I, you, for you. You don't want people, no, forever. You don't want people to disrespect you because you don't have good enough words. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, th thanks. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> You deserve to have your voice heard. Don't undermine it with naughty poo-poo words. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. You're welcome, Matt. Very Ash. cool. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I love, I, I'm very excited to go to the next Gooby. I'm also very excited in my free time to watch video game story time say how the Bluey game ruined our Christmas with the caption, an awful game, because I relate to that. I'm... Not that it ruined Christmas, but that it is a terrible game. I don't know. I'm looking at Darwin Eats Gumball Cereal. <laughs> <laughs> that is also a very effective thumbnail. Uh, okay, let's do colors. Colors, I think, is next up. Let's go back to Gooby just to make sure we're doing these in the right order. That recommended bar is insane. I'm pretty sure I just saw Edgeworth when we scrolled past that. Did you? I thought so. Well, that's there's, you. There's me. Goodbye, Internet. I know that one. DJ Khaled. Just saying stuff. Just saying swear words the whole time. A lot of there yeah. he is! Ace Attorney bloopers, but the ones I like. <laughs> That's good. Woo! Only the ones, and more gumballs, shockingly. A lot of gumball. 
All right, moving on to Gooby Learning Colors of the Rainbow. Colorful educational learning show. Do you know the colors of the rainbow, Ash? You know, I feel like I know the colors of the rainbow better than anyone at this company. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? You're really into prisms. I I love a good prism. Oh, bro. nothing like a good prism, man. Oh man, the love way that light good... reflects, chef's kiss. Refract that light, baby. Woo! Bend it like I like it bent. <laughs> nothing like it. Yeah, I... nothing like it. Yeah. Roy G. Biv. Uh, it's funny. Ali is very proud of his knowledge of the rainbow. Um, and Roy G. Biv, and he is constantly saddened by people's skipping over of indigo. I good right. Good. I feel right. I feel like indigo gets the short stick in the rainbow spectrum. Someone had to take a stance. Yeah, and it, that that man is Ollie. <laughs> yeah, taking a stance in hashtag justice for indigo. <laughs> All right, learn colors. Let's see what horrors await us here. Oh, oh, excellent. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's wow. We're starting off strong here. It's just completely gone off the rails. That's great. That one's blue. This color of the sky. Yeah, it is. This one's or I This one is the color orange. I disagree, Gooby. I see that as red. What do you see it as, Ash? Yeah. If we're I see color this. if we're color correcting to this white card right here. <laughs> this is this is the white card that we have to show up in front of all the episodes just to make sure that like this is pure white. I feel like if this is white, Gooby, that is red. Maybe like a very red, red orange, but not orange. Like this, right? The two is orange. Right. Yeah. The table is orange. The table is orange. Yes. This matches the C, which is red. Just right. Saying. Okay. See? And this is why we can't have nice things. This is what the youth of the nation are being taught. This, this is not okay. This is orange erasure. This, yeah, they're erasing orange and they're erasing <laughs> indigo. They're erasing color from the spectrum. We're consolidating colors. Unacceptable. Wow. See, this is how it happens, people. And pretty soon we'll just be in a black and white and beige world. Everything is just going to be khaki. Khaki as far as the eye can see. Oh my God. Unacceptable. I agree. That one's green. It's the color of leaf. Purple. Nice. All right. What's the color of a bruise? It's the color of a bruise. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. I'm like, what are they going to compare purple to? Oh, bruise. It's the color of a serial killer from a very popular online, <laughs> online media franchise. <laughs> Would you say that's brown? Yeah. Yeah, you think so? I don't know. To me, what does it look like to you? To me, it's a... Uh, it's, it's 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 in that uncanny valley of like dark brown to black like it's like gray like dark very dark gray like a slate gray yeah i would say it's it's a dull brown it's a yes dull brown but it is there yeah i, I can see the brown it's not it, it wouldn't be the stereotypical brown when i'm like hey child this is brown <laughs> i want gooby to teach me some of the off colors like mauve and Ooh. periwinkle fuchsia yeah? Is yeah. that... We're wanting, like, Gooby DLC. Yeah, the Gooby Plus. Uh-huh. Gooby Plus. Scarlet. Ochre. Show me Ooh. ochre, Gooby. Oh. What is the color ochre? Show me that one. <laughs> Peach. Peach. Coral. Ooh. Some of those, some of those, some of those, like, mid-tier colors that are like, oh, that's awesome. I like that. Dusty gray. <laughs> Here, let's continue. This is the color brown. It also makes them black. It's the color dirt. Yellow. Color Gooby. It is. Oh wait, what was that? Sorry, you're 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 breaking up a little bit, Gooby. Do you? You're you're, you're breaking up just a, just a little bit. Oh, I love colors. Do you? I do. Do you want to see my favorite color? I do. What is your red? Is your favorite? Are you saying your favorite color is red? Oh, it is red. Like blood. Like death. Color blood. There it is. See? Excellent. Yep. I love blood. Ah! I'm, I'm okay with blood. Are you okay with blood? I'm 
fine with it. Right? I feel, I'm not itching to see more. I'm, I'm not itching. To, not, he says, I love blood. I love blood too. It, it, it allows nutrients to course through my body. Yeah. It's like a little like a little highway system in my body, transferring nutrients and white blood cells and defensive mechanisms, plasma. I like that. Oh, Oxygen. yeah. There's a lot that goes into blood. There's a lot. There's no reason not to love blood. Right? Like, I think, I think, if I'm reading between the lines of Gooby here, they're mm -hmm. trying to make this scary. But I think this is a factual statement. We should all love blood. We should all love blood. It does so much for us. It, it can does. help so many people. There's different types yeah. of blood. All sorts of different it's types. It's color changing, mm -hmm. technically. Yeah. Did you know that octopi have blue blood? Yeah. Octopodes, yeah, because of the copper in their blood. Fun fact. That's so fun. Whereas, whereas our blood's red because of iron. You know what? I love blood. We love you, blood. <laughs> love you, blood. <laughs>blood i also love this backwards jam oh what was that remark did you see that wait there was a remark there was a form like text did i miss it i love blood oh oh there it is. oh hey oh remarks oh man it's it, it do be coded <laughs> it is a little bit coded uh, slightly oh and it goes into 33 I, I just saw 24 there i'm like oh that's gonna be like a alphabet substitution, but it's actually more. June 5th, 2019, brown, white, male, brown. Uh, 25, 15, 54, 13, 24, oh wow. Okay, sounds like we might have to solve that one. I wonder, we'll have to, okay, so that's the remarks. Okay, wait, okay, so there's a bunch that happens there. Whoa, whoa, hey, oh, it's Gooby. We got a real version of Gooby. So Gooby's a real monster? Oh, weird. Okay, so he's Andrew. He's four. There he is. All right, he's, he's being spooky. He's waiting for Gooby. So Gooby is a monster. This whole time I've been thinking that Gooby's just a front. I, I thought the whole thing was just like, oh, we created a character. But it looks like he is also a mascot horror thing if, if we're seeing him here. He's like, we're doing a little monchy monch. If you have inter in any information concerning this person, please contact your blank at your nearest blank field office. So, okay, huh. So we'll have to plug in the numbers into a decoder at some point, but this is fascinating. I did not anticipate Gooby actually being a monster. I thought that for sure he was just a digital entity that was covering up for whatever shadow organization was happening in the background. Oh, ooh, he's got big old eyes. <laughs> got those big old Gooby eyes. From this angle, he looks kind of cute. He does, actually. Without like the unhinged jaw, he's like, ah. You right? know, like his he's eyes like, are crossing ah! a little bit. <laughs> he's, he's just doing a YouTube react thumbnail. Yes. Ah! <laughs> You have never seen these TikToks before. Ah! It's like, Gooby, we actually just got information that uh, closed mouth um, expressions on thumbnails perform better. <laughs> there it is, right? <laughs> that, was the, that was the massive change in Mr. Beast's uh, branding. He was like, oh, according to the AB thumbnail test, the, the closed mouth thumbnails are getting slightly higher retention time. So everything's this now. As opposed to, it's the new meta. <laughs> it's the it's new, new meta, meta on YouTube, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, and then there's Michaela again. And there's Gooby doing his thumbnail thing. You're not gonna get retention time like that, Gooby. Keep that mouth shut, man. I did do an awesome job. Thank you, Gooby. Thanks for your compliments, I appreciate it. We're working hard here. We're working real hard. Gooby! Here oh. you are. Excuse me, what? Oh, oh, there's a lot more here. We try one of these. We don't want you to squeeze snacks anymore. No more snacks. <laughs> is this, is this a, telling me to brush my teeth? Uh, excuse me, sir. I, I came here to learn colors, not to get some propaganda for my teeth. Okay? I'll need to learn about plaque. Okay? That's a separate video. You're mixing your message. Then take this. Oh my gosh. Whoa. That tooth is getting brutalized. I didn't realize that plaque was so violent. <laughs> what? Was there something at the very end here that seemed like there was something in the corner? Right there. Huh. Weird. All right. So now we're just... Is that here just to show us some disturbing imagery that actually exists out in the real world of like claymation plaque and teeth getting brutalized.
that has the same energy as what I now know, thanks to y'all, as the adventures of Mark Twain. Oh yeah, the adventures the, of Mark Twain. Yes. Yeah, the your, your childhood trauma, I remember. Yes, uh -huh. that triggered something so uncomfortable in my soul. That was, that was deep. Oh gosh. The adventures of Mark Twain. Right? It does. It's so interesting how so many of these like early educational things or whatever had that like sinister tone to them. And just like, oh, this is disturbing as all get out. And in retrospect, like, oh, we expected kids to be educated th through this sort of thing. Um, doesn't really seem to be much of anything. It is weird that it's kind of added in there, though. But you can't really, like, make it out. Yeah, let's do, I'm just going to do brightness real quick. Brightness. It shouldn't do anything. Yeah, that's not doing anything. Okay. Gooby! Huh. So then, then we just, you know, as a bonus lesson, just some tooth decay. Without any further ado, we should do the last one. Yeah? Yes. Is there anyone down in the comments that translated it? I'm curious. Can't wait for this to be something big. The number code. There we go. That is in the remarks of Andrew's missing person report is a, oh, Polybius cipher. Nice. Oh, classic Polybius cipher. That's amazing. Decoding it gives the phrase, hey, Sids, kids. Hey, kids. Gooby here. Today we're going to learn about Andrew. Not really any new information, but I do think it's interesting. Gooby speaking in the remarks section through numbers. I think that's especially interesting. The fact that he's speaking through numbers. Uh, last but certainly not least, let's learn some shapes. Woo! Gooby, show me your shapes. Do you have a favorite shape, Ash? Before I start this one off and we learn some new shapes that are going to be our new favorites? Oh, man. Um, I've always been a huge fan of circles. Yeah? But I've always respected the power of the triangle because a triangle is an immensely powerful shape. It, it, triangles are great. Yeah. Triangles, awesome. We love triangles here. What do you think? Equilateral? Right? Isosceles? Oh, all the way isosceles. Are you kidding? Don't, I was going to say, you better not be a scalene, because if you're scalene, no. you're gonna, you and I are going to have problems. No, never. I can't I can't handle scalene people. I'm I, sorry. I would never betray you like that. Good, thank you. <laughs> if I, that would have hurt me. I, I know, I, I could know. tell. Yeah, good. I, wh where, where do you fall? Uh, you know what? I, I, I respect a good isosceles. I think, I, I think, uh... Yeah, I think isosceles is, is the the premiere. Equilateral, cool. a little bit too straight and narrow. Right. A little bit too predictable. It's like, where's the fun in that? Yeah. And I do I do have a fondness in my heart for right triangles. Mm, yes. I do like I do like a good right triangle. But, um, so Ali has magnet tiles that we do a lot of building with and, and structuring with. It's really fun. But the right triangle is a little bit limited. Yeah. Whereas, whereas there's some isosceles triangles in there that you can do crazy stuff with. Exactly. Go off the rails with those isosceles. <laughs> yes. Oh, such a win. All right, let's, well, let's see what level of detail Gooby gets to, shall let's we? Let's do it. Hexagons. Also, honorable mention to hexagons. Oh. I like a good hexagon. That's a fantastic shape. The, like, the Chad, the Chad version of shapes compared to Pentagon. No. Yeah, Pentagon is Brad. Yeah. And he yeah. wants to be Chad. Pentagon is the goofus to Hexagon's gallant. For those of you who ever read the, the highlights comics that still <laughs> circulate to this very day. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. This is really falling apart at the scene, so I, I do gotta admit, the, the quality of these videos is, is really starting to decline. Oh, we're flying through these. Nice! No clickbait here. <laughs> this is a plastic lid. It is! That's, that's useful, but it's also a circle. Circles within circles. You could say they're concentric circles. Is that a plastic spoon? It looks like a metal spoon. Yeah, it has a metallic right, quality a to it, right? It's got luster. Agree to disagree there, Gooby. Accurate. Yeah, I guess. Is it broken? Yeah, I, I guess. Sure. Uh -huh. I don't think these are shapes, Gooby. <laughs> these, these are just objects. Gooby, Gooby was creating the lesson plan. And slept in a little bit this day. Yeah. And he's like, oh, man, I got to teach these these little snot-nosed brats shapes. What am I going to do? Let and me just, like, like, look around my refrigerator and be like, oh, I guess I got this. He also lost polygons along the way. Oh, all the polygons are missing. <laughs> They're all... Oh, you noticed that one, too, did you? Yeah. Oh, this is a little girl. Oh, no, that's concerning. I don't like where that's headed. Okay, let's see the little girl. Yep, there she is. Is that McKay? Uh, oh, Sophia Anthony. Oh no, it's another new one. Gooby. Goobs. Goob. Goobster. <laughs> oh man, December 17th, 2023 in Sacramento, California. Oh man. 
Oh, hello. Was last seen in her father's home wearing a blue t-shirt and brown pants. Whoever wrote this police report knows their colors. Boom. You know I mean, what? we hope so. Otherwise, we have a huge problem on our hands. You know what? I bet. I bet they learned it from Gooby. Mm. Real. <laughs> right? You know what I learned? I learned from this. This is a little girl. She's blonde, female. She was watching TV. So it seems like it, it seems like the recurring theme here is that people are watching this show and then getting kidnapped. So it feels a little bit like Ring, the Ring to me, where maybe Gooby, as a real monster, people are watching this educational program and Gooby's coming out like the Ring, and like snatching them. That's what it's. That's what it seems like to me. Because we in the last one we also saw the boy. Um, sitting in front of the TV during his, like, screenshot there as well. So we're just getting a bunch of angles of it. I didn't want to pass by all these angles, just to make sure, but yeah. Never <laughs> what, what would you call the shape of a toenail clipping? An arc? Yeah. Like a, it, it, that's not the 3D version of it, but like, let's say an arc. Yeah, or like a crescent that Ooh, went wrong. Cres Ooh, crescent. Yeah. I like crescent. <laughs> Crescent toenail clippings. Yeah, cres my crescents. <laughs> my crescents! <laughs> yeah, I next... have ten of them. Yeah, right? I actually am overdue to trim my my fingernails, so now I'm just going to call them my crescents. you got to get some crescents. I, ga I got to get my crescent on right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get my crescent on! Woo. I do. I do like shapes. I, whoa, my gosh. Man, so, Gooby took the idea of like, oh, MatPat's gonna do like frame perfect and like walk through this frame by frame and just like took it to a hundred. <laughs> They're like, let's throw all the frames in there. Every single one. Okay, where are we starting this? Here we go. Okay, Gooby mouth. Gooby's teeth are looking, oh, wait. Gooby has a puppet? There's a puppet, Gooby? Oh, no. <laughs> what? Oh man, are we getting backstory for this guy? Did he start as a puppet and now he's like off the rails? He was digitized as a monster. Um, his teeth are looking great. I will say his his oral care is fantastic. Maybe that's why he's warning us about plaque at the end of this thing. It's like, hey, if you want teeth as good as mine, here it is. That's spooky. It's legitimately terrifying. Oh, oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate this so much. Oh no, no, I hate this. Oh, oh, I don't know. This is not okay. Oh, that is, oh, oh. So it seems like Gooby has had a lot of generations or this is just the creator of Gooby who is the guy who's doing all this stuff. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it isn't, you know, ring style digital entity coming out of TVs, which would be great. I'm sick of digital entities coming out of TVs. I'd love for there to be like a real guy behind the madness or maybe it's generational, right? So maybe it started as a as an on-camera performer or human and then became a puppet and then became digitized. Like it grew up, you know, kind of like kind of like other franchises where it started as a guy in a suit and then it became a digital entity. Not drawn comparisons or anything, but this is horrific. Yeah, I hate it. This, I wish right, he had molars instead. Right. This is this is this guy's doing his uh, clickbait thumbnail though face. Oh yeah, he's got. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it on. Lock. And he's and he's and he's uh, his mouth isn't that wide open, so he's optimized for for watch time. Yeah, but like, where are his molars? I, That's he, what disturbs me the most. He's got a, he's got a lot of inside incisors. He's also got middle tooth. Yeah, incisors and canines. He does. Oh yeah. Hmm. And and where's his bottom bottom row? No bottom row alarming unless he's covering it with his lip maybe let's move on oh more secret code i wonder if that's the same code as before no it looks no there was a 54 in the other one too maybe maybe the same maybe another polybia cipher we'll see okay sacramento california blonde got a lot of these going on gooby's losing his mind still losing his mind still losing his mind oh oh another spooky girl watching her tv that's how he gets you you just want to just want to learn some things. That's the gooey face. Michaela, yep, got her. Gooby, yep, good old close with Gooby. <laughs> got good old close with the floor. Spooky floor. Learn about Gooby. Oh, oh, there he is. There's that jump scare. That's the scariest jump scare of them all, <laughs> honestly. Michaela was age three, wearing a pink t-shirt and denim shorts. Connor, Andrew Connor, four, gray sweatshirt and black pants. Andrew's mother told the police. Oh, there's... 
Gooby Puppet. Pink t-shirt and denim pants. Oh, here. Oh, this is the complete one of Michaela. She was last seen wearing a pink t-shirt and denim shorts while at the home of her grandmother, Carrie Ann Aikens. Uh, authorities believe that that's what happens. You, you get, send them over to the parents, the grandparents, and they just sit them in front of the TV. The grandparents are like, we want to spend time with the grandkids. And then it's like, nope, just plop on the TV. Man, don't do that, man. No. Uh, okay, so here's the three. Ooh, age nine. So three, four, and nine. So this lays it out. And then there's, a, there's them peeking. He's like, hey, I'm here too. Hi, guys. Andrew Connor in Utah. Ooh, his tongue is very bifurcated. Oh. He's got a big old divided tongue there. That's, un oh, that's uncanny. Not loving that. No. What? S excuse me. To us as something to us as a burning bush and said we would could kill the hurricane bird. <laughs> what? New lore dropped. What? <laughs> I, are we getting religious? Burning bush. I mean, burning bush is very like religious imagery, like God speaking through the, the lens of a burning bush or through through the medium of a burning bush. Kill the hurricane. I don't even know what hurricane bird would be referencing. I've never heard anything like that. That's weird. All right. More more of this. Well, this, this. This goes on for quite some time, doesn't it? Wow. Andrew Connor. Okay. Well, oh, there, there he's, he's doing a little peek. He's like, hi, hi guys, look at me, I'm peeking. Wah! <laughs> See, that mouth is too open, Gooby. Yep. yep. That's not going to get you that watch time. That click-through rate's going to be lower. That click-through rate is not going to be okay. I'm assuming that's another version of Gooby, like an earlier, earlier version of Gooby. Uh-huh. Okay, there's everyone. Okay, yep, uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, now we're back to our greatest hits compilation. Oh, and there's some toenails. Crescents. Some crescents. <laughs> there's those crescents. <laughs> what do you think? Are those crescents waxing or waning? Ooh, that's a good. Right, we're, learn we're learning all sorts of stuff. Oh, here's a big old code. Maybe someone in the comments has decoded this one. We'll find out later. Yeah. Sorry, what were we going to say about waxing and waning crescents? Oh, no. It, I guess it depends on the orientation in which you perceive the moon in relation to your toenails. Yeah, it's true. Well, the toenail is the moon, right? Right. Yeah. But, like, are you looking at it from, you know, because typically you think waxing and waning from, like, left to right or, like, side to side. Sure. But we're looking at this from, like, up and down, right? So yeah. which way are you rotating the moon to compare it to your toenails? That's deep. That's right? deep. <laughs> You're so right. Uh, so apparently we're not supposed to look into his eyes. That's what I've learned. That's what I've gained from this. Okay, I'm very eager to... To start this back up again. Ooh, we got, do not listen to what he says. So don't look into his eyes. Don't listen to what he says. Oh my gosh, it just goes. It just goes oh. and goes and goes. Do not trust him. Uh, fair. I don't disagree with that. So I, see, I feel like we're seeing a lot of like crime scene photos now. Or like, you know, this feels very garage-like. You see the big plastic drum in the background. You see all these cardboard boxes. It's kind of a rough concrete floor. So it feels like this might be his like capture den. Or where he like keeps the kids after he gets them. Ah! <laughs> wow, a lot, of, yep, a lot of codes. And we're getting, we are, it does seem like we're getting a tour of, of whatever garage thing. Oh my gosh. He's putting the kids into here. Right, with a uh, picture frame, things like that. And then a big old number code. <laughs> it just goes and goes and goes. They, they were optimizing for watch time here. They really were. They were. Gooby's like, you know what? <laughs> YouTube is going to have the strangest retention graph with this thing. <laughs> Why is everyone pausing and literally going inch by inch on this video? I wonder, I wonder if that sort of thing works. Classic analog war. Let's read some old footage. <laughs> what? Why? So you got the so you got the his like murder den or whatever up in the corner. Yeah, we're getting the tour. He's giving us the room tour. Hey, AD, welcome to my murder basement. Hey, check it out. And then, then he just got like my 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 little home on the prairie or whatever. As the ending there. Huh. Interesting. So that one uh, went off, fully off the rails. That's exciting. Uh, let's see. For future theorists. Hey, that's me. There are two tab codes. The first one translates to he is not what he says he is. The second one means panic surged through the children. Their screams drowned out by the cacophony of his chilling melody. 
their hopes for escape dwindling in the face of an insurmountable horror that seemed to have taken a life of its own. There are three kids mentioned. The first one is Michael Aikens, uh, Michaela Aikens, the three-year-old, uh, Andrew Connor, age four, and then the last one is Sophia Anthony, age nine, yes. While the video is glitching, the subtitles say the following, do not look into his eyes, do not listen to what he says, do not trust him, he lies, he lies, he lies. There are also a few missing reports, but there's too much censorship to find anything. Yeah! Well done. Well done. That's awesome. Um, thank you for compiling literally everything in one comment. That was incredible. Fascinating. This is cool. I like this one. This is fun. Um, I, when this was 12 days ago, learning basic shapes 12 days ago. So one month, one month, four weeks. So it's releasing at not infrequent intervals. So I'm excited about this. Yeah, it man. seems like this is one that has a good shot of carrying forward and being something that we can check in on every once in a while when there is a new upload or two. Uh, Cause there seems to be a lot here. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. I think the question now is what sort of, it, it seems like it's seeding out a lot of different things. Like, hey, here's a guy in a gooby mask, but also here's a digital entity that might exist as people are watching TVs. Is this going the route of the TV hypnotizes kids to go do a thing? Is it gooby now, you know, pulls a Samara and, and pulls the kids in? Is it this guy just the whole time and, and then the kids are getting hypnotized by the TV show? That feels kind of weird because then he has taken them to a physical basement, it looks like. Um, so there seems to be, at least at one point in the story of this, a physical location that the kids were housed in, but now unclear. Also, he's, he's escalated quite a bit from give me your credit card number to give me your souls. It's been a, been a pretty, pretty stark difference there of like, hey, I'm just looking to fleece you guys to, oh yeah, no, I'm just gonna like kill y'all. So I am intrigued by Gooby. I am optimistic about it and I'm very curious to see where it goes from here. So thank you guys for the recommendation. Thank you, Ash, for catching that recommendation. Yeah. I think this was a lot of fun. And uh, as always, my friends, I will see you in the next video. So remember, uh, trim your crescents. Make sure you brush up on your ochres, peaches, scarlets, and mauves. And as always, I'll see you in the next episode. So remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!